we wait for uh, Zimpawi also to kick in with a one-on-one -on -one dialogue. <coughs> Excuse me. We had all three Johns on the stage and then the president, who is not a John for some reason. And I, I, I remember a few years ago when people were saying, oh, if you are not named John, then you can't be the president of Ghana. So I, a few people started naming their kids John, hoping that they'll become president. But I think that trend or that yoke is broken now. You can be a president someday if you work hard, if you qualify to be, and if the people of Ghana support and believe in your ideas. So yeah, I'll take the Daily Statesman, and that says, Ghana's best day coming, president says. Ghana's best day coming. Ghana's best day is coming. And uh, I'll, I'll take just a bite of that. I, I really like the way all the newspapers kind of take it from their own angle and make it look very, very natural and authentic. President Nanado Dankwa Akufuado last week met with leaders of the various political parties in the country to seek their views on some governance enhancing measures his administration intends to take. I think this is very brilliant to involve all stakeholders, even people in other political device who might not share ideas or who might not share your idea. And if the MCR is ready with yesterday's footages, I would like us to roll some of the footages so people who missed the action can have um, a view. It was a very, very splendid occasion all colorful and all grace with people from all political device, all religious backgrounds. It was amazing, actually, yesterday I witnessed the services of the different Islamic um, religions. I, for some reason, it was very, very amazing. We, we had a very fun time at the, at the place. And I'll take the next, the next story that says that Ghana, the government, the government to expand communication frontiers. Um, Honorable Mustafa Ahmed, government to expand communication frontiers. Good morning to you, Honorable Mustafa Ahmed. Uh, I'm coming to your office this morning for a brief discussion. Yesterday, I didn't get a chance to talk to you because you were very busy. And I want to say kudos to all the organizers of yesterday's event. It was very, 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 very well organized. Um, trust you me, I, I was there, Palos was there. I, I'm inviting Palos because he was there yesterday and we had a lengthy discussion at the backstage over the events and all that happened. Um, if we have the videos for yesterday, I would like MCR to roll in the videos and other footages so our viewers will catch the action. Those who missed can get it. We'll touch on the newspapers and I'll take the Daily Guide. Three Johns, okay, that's exactly what I was saying. Three Johns, Nana, to mark 25th anniversary of Fourth Republic. It's amazing how we had Johns back to back to back to back, back to back. So Nana was actually, someone would say, the one that broke the yoke. <laughs> He's taking a different trend. So now some of us can be quite optimistic that we can also come in well, I don't have any intentions right now. I'm only saying that you don't need to be called a John to be a president. And on your screens right now is a footage from yesterday. You can tell how excited Ghanaians were celebrating the that's honorable Esiama right there. And then you have a few of the ministers and MPs who grace the occasion. And it was very colorful. It was very, very colorful. The chorals, the music, and the speeches were quite brief and very, very straight to the point. That's the ex-president, Jerry John Rollins and the wife. Mm. Yeah, we'll touch on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, joined, I'm joined briefly here by uh, Palos. He is the presidential rep. <laughs> Palos, welcome. Thank you very much, Jonas. <coughs> Good morning, and how are you? Very well, very well. Wow, you make me miss the backstage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know? it was fun at the backstage mm. yesterday. We really, we really had a lengthy talk, right. met quite a few. Um, Palos, mm. 
what was your, your review? Last night you, you spoke at length, but now you're in front of the camera, so tell us. Well, yesterday's event was particularly interesting and far reaching for Ghana's democracy. I mean, 25 years ago, where were you? I remember when um, going to the polls to, uh, you know, try and um, cast our votes for the first time I in a long time after 18 years of uh, Jerry John Rawlings. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, after 11 yeah. years of, of the military of Jerry John Rawlings, we had to go back to the polls on November. In November 1992, first with the parliamentary elections, and then subsequently um, for the presidential elections, where um, Professor Dubois, Professor Albert Dubois, and um, His Excellency Flight of the Jerry John Rawlings. I remember. Arrested. Yes, but before that, it was interesting how um, democracy began to unfold. Because mm -hmm. um, in 1991, Ghan Ghanaians had to go to the polls um, for a referendum. Mm -hmm. to agree whether to take on board the 1992 constitution which had then been drafted by the legislative assembly headed by P. Roland Ayajitang, if I could remember rightly. So then Ghanaians went to the polls and we said, yes, we want a constitutional, we are, we are ready for constitutional rule, we are tired and fed up with the men. We're ready for the change. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've had enough of the salute, yes, yeah. yes, uh, kind of business. So, um, we rolled the curtain of military rule away, and then we opened the, the doors to the democracy doors and the windows to what we call democracy now. So it's been uh, 25 years of, um, it's been tortuous, it's been interesting, um, it's been pleasant as well, eye-opening. We haven't had this sort of longevity in our democracy before. It's always short-term, short-lived, but this time it seems to have we seem to be going with it was like a must uh, you know i have a friend who will tell you democracy is very expensive mm -hmm. and trust you well, whenever she says democracy is expensive i'll go like okay how do you mean and she will tell you trust me if not for democracy certain things that go around some people wouldn't tolerate that and they will really really take the, the law into their own in their own hands but if you really want democracy to grow to democracy to develop then sometimes you have to go back to the, the legislative instruments you have to go back to the law you have to go back to what it's required of you to do instead of follow what you think is right or it's not right there are things which are statutory which the state has to do with i mean bills and laws and acts which mm -hmm. the state has to enact and then implement. But there are ones that the citizens, it's our responsibility to also make sure um, we, we, we follow and protect our rights and the rights of others. True. We don't infringe on other people's rights needlessly because we <laughs> think we have the mouth to shout, so we can shout so loud to disturb the next door. I think this is where um, we are struggling. But are we there this. yet? We are not there yet. We are getting there. We are, there we are getting there. We'll, we'll get there eventually. We are getting there. I really appreciate how far we've come with democracy, actually. I spoke to some friends. Yesterday, I happened to meet with some friends. Um, I met with some friends who came from UK and the US to visit Ghana shortly. And we had a, a, a discussion uh, at the Labadi Beach. And it was, it was so amazing how some of them have followed Ghana's politics Clearly, you know, like the Ghanaian, uh, American and Ghanaian, uh, British Ghanaians, mm -hmm. and the interest they have in Ghanaian politics, you don't have an idea. But what's more interesting than seeing three former presidents, or is it four former presidents? Yeah, four. On the same days yeah. with the current president. Can you tell me where in Africa it's been occurring? No, if you do, no, I'll buy you watch it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll my money this morning. Ghana will be an exemplar. Yeah, we've done general. good, though. We've, 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 we've done good. On the African I think it's continent. three, actually, not four. So okay. the three Johns. Right. And they're all called John for some reason. Yeah, but... Um, I, is your name John? You have John in your name? No. I think you should add a John to your name. To my I know. I like yeah. African names. And I Palos mean... Palos is cool, too. No, change the Palos to John. Nah. Probably you could become a president someday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still Isaac Clotty, and I prefer that. And then it was, like I was saying, it was interesting. We've had, we've rarely had the assemblage of these heads of state yeah. in one yeah. I told that, yeah, one nation. It's rare. So we have to be grateful for the organizers, the thoughts yeah, behind that's the I'm process saying. that uh, made the event happen is highly commendable. Yeah. And um, 
irrespective of the party in power today, we should be seeking to establish that, make it gain root mm -hmm. in our political discourse that maybe every year we should be having um, this sort of um, events far away from the you know name calling and the uh, political campaigns that um, we've become used to. So I think yesterday's event was nice. I, my little disappointment was in the crowd. I thought we were going to have a big, very large crowd, very large, grand crowd. To I think publicity didn't really kick off very early. Mm -hmm. So that's my my personal reservation. Or well, maybe the churches were not invited. I don't know. But Funny enough, I heard a lot from churches sending invitation to the congregations to come and even telling them about the, the event. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Anglican, Presby, and some other big churches, especially the churches that the, the, their heads represented, like Action, Lighthouse, and the rest. So Can you imagine if it was just Action alone? Who yeah, that's what we were big turnout. out. The yeah. Independence Square. So I think uh, maybe the churches could have been more... Um, maybe put their shoulders to the wheel to make it a much grander occasion. But this is just the first of the yeah. lot. So let's hope in subsequent years we have a much grander nationalistic occasion. Well, I think it was already national, like, because we had the uh, chief imam, we had the. Did you see any Islamic prayers? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I think there was. Um, I, I, I had an interpretation from um, one of the. The, the, the workers at the first of ours right. who is an Islam uh, and good morning to you Rahina he, she works with uh, uh, Saki okay. she's Saki's assistant mm -hmm. and she was interpreting to me the prayers okay. and they were, you remember yeah. and the way they made the prayers looked like the normal Christian worship where they sing and shout and do all the stuff right. exactly yeah, the yes and they recited the Quran and we, so we, I started following because then we had the interpretation that we can all see the army and all that stuff and repeat what he's saying. And I, I, to me, it was just... Brilliant. Yes, it was just touching. It was and just touching. I guess next time we'll have Rastafarians. I think you should encounter that because the first of It's not just Rastafarians. Yes, and the traditional mean, worship yes, and all that yes. come in. I don't know so if they... Women as well. So yeah, it was that's what I was going to say. Of religious bodies. Across board. Yes. So let's maybe... We can hear from your audience what they think about how the um, program yeah. uh, rolled out and we'll hear what the public has to say on that. We're going to open the phone line shortly and we will receive some phone calls whilst um, Joyce Zen Parry sits to take the other segment with us. Joyce Zen Parry is here in the studios and she's going to tell us she's more political than uh, a palace. A palace is massaging words and trying to be charitable with his oh, words. I'm not massaging. We're just reviewing the news stories that has come in. So I just. Uh, but I can bet your Zimper is going to take a different angle. That's her job. <laughs> I just did my job. And I, I, I wish her the best. I think she's going for another office, which is bigger the than what she's. Women's organizer position for. The I didn't say it. Oh, I only say I know well, she's going the for. The head is just chirping. We all have ears. We've been. Well, she'll be here to tell us if it's true or not. Okay. But I know. And if I win? Uh, well, you want to still want to take my watch. <laughs> well, if you still win, you buy me watch. Well, very good morning. Uh, yeah, good, very, very good. Um, can we have some of the features he's rolling? I, I really enjoyed it, and I want my viewers to also have a bite. So, can we have the features from yesterday? And so they can also see mm -hmm. how. And we had the. Especially where we had the Islamic prayers. And it was made in a very nice. Thank you so much, Palos, for coming through. And uh, we we'll have, yes, it was so beautiful last night. I really had fun. It was an all-white event. I really didn't hear the organizers saying it was all-white, but Ghanaians, in their own beauty and style, decided to grace the occasion with an all-white, which in Ghana symbolizes victory and I think um, happiness. So, yeah.
<laughs> oh yeah, good morning to you, Georgia. You're in town, and yesterday I was with you all throughout. It was fun seeing you, and I'm I'm sure all the friends and families who who've missed you were happy to see you. George, Oreju Sapon, all the way from New York, just to grace this occasion. Welcome back to town. I hope you enjoy your stay. And all those who came from America, from Oregon, from Maryland, all of you, welcome to the country. I hope you have fun and you get good vibes back home. Joyce, and no events no one is saying. Ah <clears throat> let me say happy and a fruitful year to your cherished viewers. Thank you. Good morning to all as well. Enra very colorful, very unique and it was worth its thought. Yes. It was worth its thought. It was worth celebrating 25 years of the fourth Republican of our motherland. Yeah. Yes, share what we look back. Yes, share back to history. 60 years ago, I attained independence. In your republic statues in your ma. The turmoils yeah. I go through. The ups and downs. Ups and downs. Now, since 1993. Yet I hold on to this republic, republican uh, <coughs> dispensation now. Uh, Efata. Yeah, I had you. Papa, 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 papa. Who share Africa across the globe? No, who knew ma? Me and I make say, even the northern Africa now is also a bit stabilized. Stable. No. We must say one of those monarchy things, no. It's still that's war. It's still that's war. It plays a long one with the end. Now, over West Africa, and the coast Central Africa. Uh, Central Africa, the end. Next up to say, Yayibi. Now, Yayibi, and then Yayibi, a Rajin Yayibi. True. And um, Senior MPP, President, 7th December, Yako, a Thanksgiving, a fruitless. <coughs> hey, hey, an ungrateful and uh, a thankless nation is fruitless. Yes. A thankless nation. True. Now, yet they are in the army, they are coming in the army, they are back. So, I read it here. It's worth celebrating it. And then, you pay our bravo. A German Bibia. 25 years and yes and get to and ra it takes my mind to church and run up a church service here ho now we married couples we are almost away for 40 years wow. and the whole church celebrated them afi papa yes of one of those who been married for long mm -hmm. what you are tapping into tapping into it you need to tap that grace yeah and i believe said this occasion you no know, it's not just for Ghana it's not just celebrating Ghana but celebrating Africa mm. to the other world and they say look we can do it yeah we can do it in fact that's what I see because Michelle mm. now and I had a lengthy discussion with some friends I'm free mm. Ghana mm. maybe I have Ghanaians and other things but we said the are Ghana, yeah, yeah, easy. We didn't get it easy from start. At from '92, I remember so clearly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been to a few of this grouping and the uh, elections, and some I couldn't vote. But I mean, when I look back from that time till now, and I give them my my small history about where we've come from politically and democratically till now, now yet to me, sustaining, stabilizing. 
I can tell the tension, especially to the yeah. handing over time. Yeah. I it to me handy over. It to me celebrity. And you know some of them make fun of us like Ghanaians, the energy I yes. And I'm saying this is probably something that has held us together. Demonstration demonstration Well, we want to involve our viewers and uh, you can call this program on 0240-550-899. 0240-550-899. We are reviewing yesterday's Thanksgiving service for the 25th anniversary celebration of the Fourth Republic. And also, Joy Zimpari will tell us how she's weaving and maneuvering for that position. <laughs> I don't know about it. It looks like everybody apart from me knows about it. But yeah, I think we'll move on. Joyce, um, Minister uh, for Information, say, Omo um, Frontiers, Information Communication Frontiers. Yeah. And also, you could share anything come over to um, let me take a, a, a bit of that and then Joyce will give us her views on that. The Minister for Information is saying that the government will expand communication frontiers. Um, it says government is to expand its communication frontiers so that the media can reach government officials for information in the timely in a timely manner. Mustafa Abdul Amid. Minister for Information has disclosed. So far, um, a few people have plotted uh, His Excellency Nanado's government and his communication team for information management. The way I'm handling information, in fact, so far, um, I will quote um, Ghana Cylinder woman, uh, Frances. Frances. She said that compared to others now, Bibika Krebi and APA. Leakages in some are in what's here. This system has been different, whereas the channels are working now. We between me and the who information be a baby or back information be a baby in free source. Be you can all you can tell if it's authentic or not. You can always verify. And here, the minister is saying that government will expand the frontiers, meaning obey information quite accessible for a lot of people at different stages. Well, what's your take on that? Yeah. Um, very good news. It is very welcoming because information dear and we need more PR and senior will be able to access information. No, I am not so a hoot. Yeah, you will come up and say a boy had not either the media or the public app information. Yeah, you don't even know where to turn to. Who calls one you'll be in your nature. There's a rebuttal on this festival. And he experienced it, and you may be a chroma. Who was a statement? Bayer means Navy, government, machinery. Machinery. So you don't even know which one to go along with what he has said. But, oh, Shep, President, and now the day out to move say, the beer statement may be if it authentic source. Authentic source. And it's one. And it's one. Cross board. A baby is one. You don't have any other person coming to speak from the government side again. Mm -hmm. And we're here. Because when you get the people informed, when you give them what they need to hear, mm -hmm. they go along with you mm -hmm. in any policy implementation or other things. Um, my Kaiser president, yeah, yeah, inauguration, we are all called regional tours in your manner. And I even. Uh, subsequent ones to our say why you made two tours yeah. to the regions, and I had a lot of media houses applauding him. Yeah, even though he has a whole setup of media crew at the president, you know, or co region, yeah, when you say there are media more affiliates, name agencies, or other regions, and you know, the first time I mean, say media for me, I applaud to say those time. He, they went down to work with the local yeah. media houses. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't fly over their heads. No, 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 no. Because they are on the ground. Woman and Mujahwa, they may take you over. Woman take you over. True. Now, woman disseminating information down to the down people. to the people. What you are saying, ain't you know? Send a minister and a guy, you know. It's good. They need to work hard and make sure say information be as should be at. The, the easiest accessible point True. for people. Those days, we used to have ministry 
Ministry of Information, no more information vans. Information vans. Going to certain villages to, you know, and those ones were information from the government being told in the local dialect. And the people, the old, the, the unschooled, or the illiterates, everybody can get the information. But let's leave in Tessa Anyo I think when the radio stations are taking a over. program, no, it used to be there, it died out. Mm. Then uh, the era of Honorable Dambuchi oh, and Momsa revamped the program. No? And Unam Kroma, you could see the information, vans, vans and things. You see, breaking information to the local dialects, to the people. Mm -hmm community participation mm -hmm. where they can also access this information and break it down to their level of understanding mm -hmm. i almost won't be to me a passing on information because me did advance the choir it is not just them giving out to the people mm -hmm. but also taking back the response of the people yeah. and other challenges that is communication and, and only communication and also in your programming your planning and implementation and what and we here pa ain't you know Senior, Honorable Mustafa Abbey, so I buy any one hono. As I said, it's me, Senior Wakano, your best way, says Senior Mukano, to us. Look, say information is a rich and crawful, promptly, on time, precise, and then response also a buy in time and then acted upon on timer. Most of this agitations, uh, conflicts, and things no ever die out. True. When you keep com uh, information away from your people for too long, that is where people find the false, false opportunity mm -hmm. to spread falsehood. Yeah. <laughs> bang propaganda across. Time I will call back say it. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. If you can't me call between my uncle crab you. That's right. Um say M P P no we can't ask them. We can't ask them at all. We are we are not pay. We be share on it too. You be we are our sister. Oko station for free. Oko TV for free. Oko TV for free. Obia will at each time of the day what is pie no mm -hmm. to listen or watch a program or the other. True. Sound Obia is sharing the program. It's a boy who be sound of it. He no pa news. No be na ovininga. What you say? Ain't it say be a be kebi bo a hani be weena? What the adi ane babaka? How many of those? Will you get Listeners, back? Will you get back? Well, this is one on one live, and we're having um, <laughs> Joyce Zempari here with us. This is the only show that brings the people that matters to you for them to tell you what you need to know, what you've not heard from other networks. And we bring you only the people that matters to you, and we take your views and push them to tell you what you need to know. We give you the right information at the right time, and it is one on one. The dialogue here on Netu TV. My name is Jonas Abedi Enim, and you can reach this program on 0240-550-9899. I take that again, 0240-550-899. Call us, tell us your view, tell us where you're watching us from, and tell us how wide Net2 is going. Net2 is certainly going beyond the limit. We'll take a quick break, and when we're back, we will touch on other few stories, and then Joyce will tell us about her ambition. I really want to hear that, Joyce. <laughs> it's one on one the dialogue. And my name is Jonas Abedi Enim. I, I tell you all the time, backstage or behind the screens are always interesting stories. You should see how Joyce and I were talking about Alaji Batui. And she was telling me she was at the funeral. Um, Joyce, Alaji Batui. Ah, Gone condolences so to the family. Um, we were home, we here. True, but I had not time yet. The anti and you must say, I mean, no name, I was a sham up I think, like the Muslim belief, and even the Christians, we as Christians know, he's going back to rest in the bosom of Abraham. Um, in fact, Friday, no, and you may, and yet, say. On WhatsApp and things, and yeah. social media. Me put the me fan. He said the usual Ghanaian thing. thing. Kill your social media before you die. Reality. Eh. Uh, say ah, what is this again? Yeah. Ghana for but uh, when I started, me me, me check it further. I'm so ready. 
a yampa. Until Saturday, na no pa. And a general secretary, a freso, a chasse, a representative party. No. To any general secretary, the regional executives, a coho to mourn with the family. Na the vice president of the republic, Elijah Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, was also there to mourn with the bereaved family. Mm. And in fact, we saw today the departure of our brother. Mm. Um, but I did back on the air and we heard people even around the place, the funeral grounds, also complaining that where was his best? Yeah, his, his right hand man. Where was the man he elogized so much? Mm. Where was the man he taunted as the best? Because Yes, here the new men in Abbey, no beer, no new woo. Um, I award ye a woho, a warrior a woho, a year one time a. But more as you live on, you keep celebrating. But award ye will be where into this area, so be no evil problem said there, and new word ye, ye fat and can and can and come in will be. Sure. Nani and Nami Bisa say, Ain't in a Jodramani Mahaba. Walk na no Okumas, Yen, you say, Walk via your corner, no pa. And Elijah Baturi was laid to rest after one because Yen, if you want to know, convey body to the cemetery was around one fifteen. Because one more year, the one o'clock afternoon prayers in Rie and Sana on the new call. And you could see the likes of. Joshua Labi Nehunyoma, the people alleged Baturi was strongly opposed in mm -hmm. the NDC. The people he called names mm. were there. And you could feel everybody around asking a million questions. Say, ah, Why is the pres the ex president? Where there? is pre former president John Dramani Mahama? Mm. Where? Because Sunyani and our way there and Papa missing, and for you to come to Accra, he did how you could have arranged airline there anything to get to Accra. Wait, me amba. But if you are not be very important, I didn't be being very important. important because we know the personal person, we're the best person. Look, the number of times sir, Alaji Baturi, a defending a heli. Akasa Amma John Mahama. John Mahama. And Kenya, Even also. to the extent that he could take a swipe at the former president John uh, 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 Jerry John Rawlings, the one who lived, uh, who conceived, nurtured, labored the NDC. Let's let's pick a, a call and when we come back, I will we'll talk about a large battery and honorable Kenya Japan. Hello? 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 Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm calling from Accra. My name is Rob. Yeah, we all come to give your contributions on this show. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I just want to contribute to your program containing a large batch of Go ahead. Yes. We all know that Alaji Batri is the uh, NDC activist. And then his contribution also was very good. Especially when he made Honorable Kennedy Bond on program. And uh, this one also is also sending a signal to our leaders of this country. We shouldn't concentrate on our job so much that we can't even go to check out and then check out our home. That is true. We should try and then go to hospital in the house and check our health. So I like that today. I'm here with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was a very wonderful point. Yeah. yeah. That was it. I think He's about the second person talking about this, our jobs and in fact, letting go our The job we do is so stressful that we tend to forget about our health. 
that with with good health you can keep going um the challenges are so compounded say a do baby you don't know where the exit point is that is true it get to a point you don't know where the stoppage should be that is the unfortunate thing it's like i got home yesterday around 12 midnight do a little prayers and then had to wake up rush this morning you understand meanwhile we all know that the normal sleeping hours for every human being should be about eight should be about eight the least should be about seven okay let, let me go on the phone line um the, you can reach us again on zero two four zero five five zero eight nine nine zero two four zero five five zero eight nine nine hello hello Yes, your name and where you're calling from. Hello. I am Sakolani Hano. Okay, sweet baby, you have to be quiet for mommy or daddy to talk. Hello. Okay, okay. Please call back again. We would love to have your views on our discussion today. The number again is 0240-550-899. Hello. 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 Hello? Oh. Oh, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Joyce. Ain't it no Emma? Look, I told you I'm a catch say, even phone calls yeah. in a day can get you so stressed upset. True. You understand? And then this emergence of social media was uh the invite. And it gets me a little worried because I told you uh, the man I was paint on checking messages and things gets one not productive. Mm. And yeah, they see it me share near restructure. And you know what I do? Like this early morning, I turn my data off for it. Well just to give yourself a rest. No, just to concentrate on other things. Oh. Because if you're not careful, pipi it beeps, you have to go and check. That's what true. Thing. So I give myself some period to do other day things. To do other things. I get back, check what messages, turn it off. Because if you don't manage talk about yourself. turn off messages, let's see who's on the line. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. And what? Where are you calling from? Yeah, we can hear you. Your name and where you're calling from. Can you turn down your TV set, please? Can you turn down the volume of your, on your TV set? Okay, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Joyce, so yeah. tell us your strategy. Probably I'll pick up from some because oh, of course. I... And even a, um, <laughs> in terms of phone calls, mm -hmm. within some working hours, you either put you know you can't turn it off so it should be either on silent so that with a uh, time call seven by three now you have time then you return the calls mm. because a uh, look there are times you're driving yeah there are times people, are calling. people are calling and one thing i've noticed that um see me educating for moment as i say who will be once no i'm far the person will call uh, you maybe back once in the room but twice i have been the Third one tries, but you should not say either the, the person, person is not a, 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 in a convenient mood to pick the call. You see, we think at our convenience we have to make a call to somebody, yeah. and the person should be prepared no. to pick. It should be no. at the person's convenience. It should also too. be, no, it should be also mutual. Mutual. <laughs> okay, since it's mutual, let's see who's on the line. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, and good morning. <laughs> Hello, can you please turn down the volume on your TV set? Yes, good morning. Yeah, your name and where you're calling from. No, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Joyce, this is an interesting angle. The person calling you should also understand that if it's convenient for you to answer, you will. If yeah. it's not, you won't answer. Yeah.
But how does that relate to a stressful job, to a large battery? Is it also some of the issues. things that get people going that you think no? Let's let's see. So, hello? Hello? This person might be calling from a very far. <laughs> you see, there are various forms of stress that comes our way. Yeah. But eh, Anna, there's another caller on the line. Sorry, hello? guys. Hello? hello? Hello and good morning. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello? Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is um, Boku. And I'm calling from Bali. Wow. wow, so you must be watching us online or on the digital network. Yeah, tell us your contribution. Alaji Baturi, yesterday, Thanksgiving service for the 25th anniversary of the Pop Republic. Oh no, sorry we lost. Of course, Bali is no no wonder we were having the problems. And I think this networks. But Joyce, I'm personally interested in the stressful lifestyle some of us are living. Trust me, sometimes I go a whole day without food. I only remember how to eat when I'm going to sleep. You know, anytime I meet people in the tax, Joyce looks like you put you on weight, I say. Look, it's the late eating habit of us. Yeah. Like you said. I've set off early this morning. You tend to forget that yeah. you've not taken food. It's true. By the time you realize it's so late, yeah. and you can't go on an empty stomach. Mm -hmm. So you see, I'm putting on weight, which is not good for my health. Mm -hmm. I'm working myself out, mm -hmm. which is not good for myself. It raises your stress level. Very well. So the, the rate of high blood pressure among people, it's the working class yeah, yeah, yeah. is rising. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't want to talk about high blood pressure right now because it's something I really, really pray nobody gets. But let's go to the phone lines. Hello? Hello? Good morning and welcome to 101 The Dialogue. Hello? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we are not. I tell minds. you, whether you like it or not, you need to accept it. Blood pressure is on the increase. Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, we have a health. And it goes program. beyond that. That some people, after having this, have, have been affected with uh, uh, diabetes and things. Yeah. Because, you know, when there is changes in your eating habits and things. Yeah. It affects fact, your system completely. Thank you. It's serious. Wow. And we we, we don't even make time. To have this routine. regular check. Medical I used to do that on. when I was also in Ghana, but trust me, since I'm by, I mean, yeah, one check. Oh, because oh, you cool. know, in a, in America and Europe, they'll call you like, okay, sir, you have you an have appointment, appointment with us, you have to come in for a checkup on this date, this time, I blah, know blah, blah. Dr. Sari said they are working seriously towards that. I pray they that. do that. I Ghana, pray health, they do that. Uh, Ghana Health Service is working seriously towards they do that. that. Um, let me say good morning to him and then. To all my board members on H NHIS, Prof. Edwin Fee, good morning. But but then sorry, is very passionate about, about us because a near back where how you come up any routine checkup. Yeah, routine checkup. We, we don't do it. We don't do it. Uh, and uh, I'm not health insurance or tax way so mm. because if the health insurance system is also working, when you break it down to the local level, when a, a, a doctor, a medical doctor, have a number of patients to deal with. All those things will work out perfectly for us. Good. Let's go to the phone lines again. Hello. 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 Okay. Sorry, I think he couldn't wait. But yes, that's a very interesting one. We need to get. I, for instance, was enjoying the phone calls, like a text message. They would send you have a medical appointment for a checkup. You have a massage appointment. You have this. And you know, it's all part of your insurance. And you being a member of the NHIA, I, I really, we will really come after you. That is what the promise we give to our, our viewers here on the 
dialogue, the one-on-one -on -one dialogue. We go for the news. We go, we go for the information you need and bring it to you. We go and bring them <laughs> here to come and explain to you why they have not done what they're supposed to do and why they have done what they have done and so you can be at rest and so you can be confident that they are working. So we'll bring them here. She's committed herself. We'll follow it up and we'll bring you up-to-date information because we all need good health, we all need sound health, and we all need a good working economy. Josephine Perry, tell us now about your ambition. Okay. National Women Organizer of the New Patriotic Party. Why? Well, I, I believe there's more work to be done. My predecessors have come up to show their capabilities and skills. And I think I've gone through the mills that I've also acquired a lot. And I want to get to the top and disseminate it down. Is it because you think you're eloquent? You're the Kasamite Brafo? Oh, Is please. it the brothelization of stuff? Why? Oh, come on. There'll be a Juma Die. Akwe Juma Sanya Brafo. But a Numa Bibri comes to play in leadership. Oh, it was shining in her. How has it been done? What is it that you're bringing on board? And how do you want to get to your destination? To me, every election is like any other one that has been held. Mm -hmm. So the election of 2020 is like any other election. Mm. It's like 20, 2000. It's going to be like 2008. 2012, 2016. Yeah. So you take it with all that seriousness. Take it with all that seriousness. And you look at a day and a whole day back to enhance the women's wing. Because there are two groupings in each political dispensation mm -hmm. that if you focus so much on, you know you've already won the election. Mm. Women and youth. True. And we form majority of the votes and pattern. And all government policies and things are tailored towards us. True. When your youth are well to do, they are working, they are educated. <coughs> you there's have a developed country, yeah. there's growth. When you have the women who are very entrepreneurial, you have women who are committed to whatever they want to do. Look, when you go to farming, you find women forming the majority yeah, of the farming on farming grouping. Yeah. You come to trading, they are there. Where is it? You understand? And so these are the things that we want to bring on board make sure that whatever policy program our government is bringing we also pick it at the grassroots level rally everybody behind get them to understand politics about developing the people mm. it is not just about the chobui chobui it's a new nyoma and one thing i think we should also be looking seriously is mentorship you mm. understand uh, our developing partners in nyoma MPP, you know, we are always in line conformity with the Republicans and then yeah. the people associate you. So we associate, kind of associate ourselves. With Not only us, but where we, we're learning the practice of democracy and mm -hmm. political party participation, you realize that they have a, a system of mentoring people. Who mm -hmm. oh, system, no? Elections be be kwa. Omo timi huaso. Even though people are coming along, there are people who who can be fit yep. into yeah. certain positions. Certain positions. You see, it takes away some of the grievances and things at the grassroots yeah. level. Ninyinaka and your maya pesi I have a lot I want to also bring on board. So you be a more lobbying and campaign window ninety. May a little more room. Oh no. I guess uh come work on some back watch here, but we we'll keep we we'll keep we we'll keep tracking up with you and then seeing the uh, we'll campaign process. No, the best I can tell you is we now after you you are putting some now what can in perspective. That's right. At the end of it, and then we will see how everything rolled up. Sure. But we are so grateful for having you on the show, and we're hoping to have you again next time. You've always been the lady that we call, and you show up with smart eloquence and all the analysis and, <laughs> and then the one Javi will be uh, that is good. Uh, but you're gonna wish now you're like I like the battery I'm not coming in John many John Ramani Mahama was some pa some another platform. Now in our back. And uh Thanksgiving is so ye Bible quotations in our co ye 
And I really love the third Bible reading. But was the, like the, the richest the man yes. who had all what he wanted, he had, and was still not pleased with it. Mm. God said, well, food, drink, make merry, <laughs> but by tomorrow, I take your life. Take your life. We all owe it to God. He is the omnipotent, the omnipresent. He is the creator of heaven and earth, and he has given us this day. We've done a bit of what we can to help Mother Ghana and to help ourselves. This is the one-on-one, -on -one, the dialogue show. My name is Jonas Abedi Enim. Thanks to the production crew and thanks to management. We'll be here same time tomorrow with one-on-one, -on -one, the dialogue. See you.